I will be forever the myth. You're the king of kings, <laughs> There's always a pecking order. The little peckers never mess with the big peckers. So I'm a rooster, and he's a chicken for the week. When you were training with Robbie back in the day at Gold's, you guys were going heavy and fast, right? Yes. That's the problem of training with Rob is the pace. Yeah. That's yeah. the pace. And he's looking at the clock the whole time. So you got 400 pounds and you get about 35, 40 seconds between rests if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. So between sets, I'm down on one knee, gasping. <laughs> he knows the minute he puts you down, there is no talking with Robbie when, you know, yeah. I lived in the house, we didn't talk. So at the gym, you know, he's not saying a word. He just, when he puts it down, you know, you're picking it up. Yeah. He was so strict. He goes, give me 12. And he means 12 because if you stop at eight, now you owe me one. Uh -huh. stop at nine, now you owe me another. So he discipline, he caught, you know, he taught me some discipline. 12 means 12, nonstop. And the last rep, it'll be just like the first rep. He's really to form and technique and mm. mental connection. I watched him for a year training in 77 when I got there and I go, why is he training light? Why is he training heavy? Why is he doing that? Mm -hmm. And when I had the opportunity to train with him, I realized, oh, he's all mental. Mm -hmm. He was deadlifting 500 pounds in front of me. He got it halfway up and he had to step forward. He stumbled a little bit. So he stepped forward halfway up and then he locked it. And that's when I saw in his face, I go, oh, this guy's all mental. Mm -hmm. he's not mm -hmm. great. So he could take a lightweight, make his own <laughs> grow. Yeah. Build his, build his chest. So it's not, it's, it's mind to, to muscle connection. That is so true. Yeah. No. That's when I learned that, you know, I learned a lot from him about form, technique, focus, mental. He would walk in the gym every day and he wouldn't speak to anybody. He goes straight to the machines because his mind was set before he got to the gym door. Mm -hmm. There was no distraction. You couldn't interrupt him in his workout. There's no way. Because he was still a rising star at the time. You know, he was winning, but, you know, he had a lot of tough guys to beat. Yeah. Or and, you know, yeah. Lou Ferrigno and all these great, real, real champions. So yeah. he had to really step into the next level to, to get there. And, and I learned a lot from him that discipline and intensity. If you don't have intensity in your workout, you're not going to grow. You're not going to get that chisel sculpted look. Mm -hmm. that carved, carved from stone. That's some hard work. Yeah. These guys are big and got all these muscles, but they look soft. Yeah. And a lot of free weights. Robbie didn't use machines. Okay. Okay. Deadlifts, T bar, you know, you name it. You, barbell curls. He would take a 120 pound barbell, curl it 10 times, and hand it to you. So, how much rest are you getting? I do my set, you hand it back to him. So, it never touched the floor. Yeah. He burned out so many training partners. <laughs> it was drinking alcohol to come down, it was popping pills to come up. It's <laughs> it twice a day he's taking you through this just hell. Yeah. <laughs> but wow. I love him. We used to yeah. laugh at each other. We just smile because you're not going to burn me out and I'm not going to burn you out. So here we go. <laughs>